Shalom, 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 shalom. Want to say, Kom ya shalom? 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 That means rise Israel, right? The true nation of Israel, Yasha Allah, right? I'm talking to the so called Negroes, right? Right here today in Greensboro, North Carolina, right? I'm your brother Yashu, and this is the mighty Yahweh's camp, right? All prayer to the Most High, right? Let me get uh, St. John 17 and 17, right? We want to say, the water Yahweh, the water Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kahala Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Barakatha, right? And a mighty salute to the 12 Thank tribes you. that scattered the boy, right? Let me get St. John 17, 17. I got you. Right? Let me get, uh, let me get uh, Matthew 18 and 11. Come on. Go ahead. Come. The book of John. Chapter 17, verse 17. Uh -huh. Sanctify them through thy truth. Do what? Sanctify them through thy right. truth. Yeah, we come out here to sanctify the people of Israel through the truth, right? You have been void of the truth and the true living word of the heavenly father and the heavenly son. And that's why the true servants of the Lord got to come out in the last days, right? right? That's why he's still mighty service to come out here and speak the truth boldly before the people, right? Go ahead, brother. Thy word is truth. What is the truth? Thy, Thy word, word is truth. Hey, we speaking the truth up here. How many people in Greensboro, North Carolina want to come here to truth for the word, right? How many people want to hear the truth for the Lord, right? Can y'all come here for two minutes, right? Hey, sister, can I get you one scripture? Let me get you one scripture and show you who you are. Come here real quick, sister. Hey, who are you then, sister? What's your nationality? You're American, sister? That's a false balance right there. So can I show you your true nationality? Can I show you your true origin real quick? Do you know who the true children of Israel is, sister? Huh? Me. Me? See that? You just said you was an American, right? Our people are confused. Let me get St. John's 8 and 32, right? Right? This is why we got to come out here in the last days. Hey, beautiful sisters, do y'all believe in the words of the Lord? Huh? Anybody believe in the words of the Lord? Can I get two minutes of your time for one scripture? You find out that people don't have two minutes for the Lord, right? What I got you holding? Uh, 832 in Matthew. Uh, Let me get that uh, St. John's 832. The book of St. John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Can I get y'all a scripture real quick? Come on now. Don't laugh and keep walking at the men of the Lord, right? This will be recorded in the heavens in the last days, right? Everything y'all see before you is being recorded, right? The Lord is jotting down how many times his, his children walk by his servants, right? And don't want to hear the voice of the Lord, right? The scriptures say, my sheep, do you hear the voice of the Lord, sister? Hey, can you, you got time for one scripture? Can I show you your nationality according to Christ? Well, all right, cool. Let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 15 real quick. Watch this, sister. Bring it Let out. me show you what happened to our people in the last days, right? When you look over here on this sign right here, right? What is your nationality, sister? What can you tell me? Black. You're black, right? So where's the land of black at, sister? In Africa, okay. Let me get Galatians 4, 26, right? Bring it out. Watch this, sister. Read, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. What? But it shall come to pass. Understand this, sister. These things right here that you see before you, it came to pass, right? So that's why we got to come out here and show our people. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Our people don't got time to listen, but we still come out here and prophesy to the wind, right? We still come out here and prophesy to the trees, right? Go ahead. If thou will not hearken unto the Lord thy or the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his all his commandments. See, we were supposed to do all the commandments, sister. That's why we lost our way. That's why we say we're black. That's why we say we're African American, right? That's why we say we're niggas. That's why we say we're coons, right? Not but we have some of our people that do it. It's all in our rap songs, right? Go ahead and read what you got. Come in the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 24. Watch Bring this, up. sister. Come. It says. Salaki. 26. 26. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. Understand this, sister. Not the land of black, but Jerusalem is what? Which uh which is above which is free. Is above is free. Our land is free, sister, but we don't want to go to it. Right? We're not seeking our land. We're not seeking the Heavenly Father, sister. Go ahead. Which is the mother of us all. Hey, Jerusalem is the mother of us all, right? But we don't want to seek Jerusalem in the last days, right? We don't want to seek the voice of the Lord, right? Let me get Isaiah 55 and 1. Hey, sister, how you doing? You got time for the voice of the Lord? Let me get Isaiah 34 16. Huh? Read from John. Read from John? Yeah, that's what they talked about. Hey, we read all through the Bible, sister. 
So if you understand that we are descendants of that, why claim America, sister? Why claim black, sister? That's why we gotta just listen, sister, real quick. You claim Jesus? All right, sister, all praise to the most high. You see that? Our people prideful, man, and don't want to seek the true living word in the last days, right? Exactly. We think we know it all, man. When we got servants that study every day and every night, we do this thing, man. Listen. Go ahead, brother. This is, she says she claimed Jesus. She claimed Jesus, brother. Hebrews 7 and 14. Oh, man, go ahead. For it is evident go that ahead. our Lord go ahead. sprang out of Judah. Where did our Lord come from? Sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of Yahweh, though, right? The king tribe, right? That's where we come from, right? And my brothers, do you know who you are? You got time to learn, brother? You got time for one scripture? Our people don't got time to listen. Go ahead. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, uh -huh. of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Understand that, right? Of a tribe that Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood, but yet he knew all of the priestly duties, right? Come. He came and taught our people perfectly how to walk. The true living example. But our people don't love that example. You're going to find out our people love Cardi B, right? Our people love Future, right? Our people love DMX, right? Our people love all these entertainers, right? Whether if they're here or not, you understand? But the Lord's word lives forever, right? Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, can I get y'all one scripture real quick before you go on your journeys? Huh? If you truly believe, you're going to find out our people truly don't believe, right? Let me get that Isaiah 55 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 1. Get Isaiah 34 and 16. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, uh -huh. come ye to the water. Hey, come to the water, man. That's why we out here. We're trying to give our people the living water in the last days, but our people don't want it, right? Go ahead. And he that hath no money. Come ye and buy and eat. Are you supposed to come right here, man? We got everything you need, right? The word, the word is going to fill you up in the last days, man. Not this food out here. Not the fish out here, right? Not the shrimp, crab, and lobster out here, man. Go ahead. Buy and eat. Yay, come. Buy wine and milk without money and without pride. Now you see that? We giving you everything that you need without money in the last days to seal you. Eternal life right here, sister, for you. We got eternal life for you over here, sister. But our people don't want it. They want fish and chips, man. Go ahead. <laughs> Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? Hey, this is not bread over here, man. Come over here and spend your money with the true servants of the Lord, man. Right? But y'all don't want to give your alms over here to what's right. Y'all don't want to do what's right in the last days, man. Go ahead. And your labor for that which satisfieth not. Hey, this is this labor is satisfying nothing in the last days, man. Right? This right here is gonna get our people put to death right here, right? Go ahead. Hearken diligently. What did the Lord say? Hearken, hearken diligently. diligently. Everyone, our people to hearken diligently into the voice of the Lord in the last days, right? Go ahead. Hearken diligently unto me. Unto who? Unto, unto me. me. Unto me, man. Unto the voice of the Lord. Yahweh Yahweh Shai in the last days. Go ahead. And eat ye that which is good. Are you supposed to eat this that is good. The word of the Lord is good, man. Go ahead. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Let me get verse 6. Verse 6. Seek ye the Lord. What did the Lord, what did the Lord say? Seek, seek ye the Lord. Lord. Hey, you're supposed to seek the Lord, man. But well, where are you going to seek him out? Let me get Isaiah 34, 16. Let me get Amos 5 and 4. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Do y'all believe in the word to the Lord? Hey, sisters, how y'all doing, sisters? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Can y'all get two scriptures real quick? Can I give y'all two scriptures in the last days? Y'all still think this is going to last forever, right? Y'all think this is going to last forever. This kingdom is finished, man, right? You got it for me, brother? All oh, praise to the most high, right? This kingdom is finished, sisters, right? And we come out here with the bread of life in the last days, right? The bread of adversity was right here in front of you, and you don't want the truth, man, right? Go ahead, brother. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Where are you supposed to seek? Out of the book of the Lord. You're supposed to seek out of the book of the Lord in the last days, right? But y'all want to seek the homecoming, right? Y'all want to seek everything else that is a false abomination and a false balance. I'm excuse me, that is an abomination and a false balance before your people and before your maker, right? This is not right. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Can, can I give y'all two scriptures? Two scriptures. Green, this strip ain't going nowhere. This strip ain't going nowhere. Just stop real quick. 
See that? Go ahead. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord uh -huh. and read. And you're supposed to read, right? So while we're reading, we come out here to give the sense to the people, right? That's all we come out here to do, right? Let me get near my 8 and 8. Go ahead on that. The book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 4. Uh -huh. For thus saith Yahweh uh -huh. unto the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Unto the house of Israel. Let me come out and speak to the house of Israel in the last days. Go ahead. Seek ye me. Do what? Seek, seek ye me. me. And you're supposed to seek the Lord, man. And do what? And ye shall live. And ye shall live. But you're going to see our people don't want to live, man. Nope. Right? Our people want to walk up and down and go back noonday, right? Come. You don't see what's going on. Y'all don't see the war that's happening? Hey, how y'all doing across the street? Y'all got time for the voice of the Lord? Nope. Go ahead. Nehemiah. Right, Amen. Go ahead. What that Nehemiah? Come, on, come, on. come on, the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. So they read in the book of the law. And they read in the book of the law, right? And we just had the mighty priest Yaganon up there reading out of the book of the law, but don't nobody want to listen, right? So we come out here to read out of the book of the law, right? Read. So they read in the book of the law of God distinctly and gave the sense. Distinctly, right? Meaning we know exactly where to go to give our people the true living word in the last days, right? We know exactly what law to give our people to cleanse them up, right? Hey, sister, how you doing? You believe in the Bible? Can you got, you got time to listen? If you come, they'll come, right? Right? If you come, they'll come. How about that? If you stop, they'll all stop, sister, right? And prove it to be true. Stop right now and hear the voice of the Lord. I guarantee you they stop. See that? All you got to do is stop. Go ahead. Come. On. And gave the sense. And did what? And gave the sense. And we just want to give our people the sense, man. But you're going to find out, right? Common sense ain't so common in America, man. Uh -huh. Right? Our people don't understand common sense. Our people don't understand how to contextualize scriptures or nothing, man. You just read. Right? You just read with no understanding in the last days, man. But that's why we got to come out here. You understand? What I got you holding? First John. First John is 4 and 1. All praise. The book of First John, chapter 4 and verse 1. Read it up. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Right? The sister said she wanted me to come out of John, right? She wanted something in John. But we're going to go into John, right? We're going to see what you know in John, right? Hey, the Lord said, believe not every spirit. So that sister standing here talking about going to John, I don't believe her spirit, man, right? Because she didn't want to stand for the truth. Hey, do y'all sisters believe in the truth? Do you got time to hear a scripture? One, one scripture real quick, sister. You said what? Go ahead, hit, go ahead, hit it. First uh, John chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Right. Sister, don't believe everything that you hear and see, my sister. All of this garbage on YouTube, all this garbage on BET is trash for our people. You understand that? Don't believe those spirits, sister. But this is what you're supposed to believe, the true spirit that's in this book right here, sister. Go ahead. But try the spirit. Yeah, we trying spirits out here, sister. I'm trying your spirit right now to see how much you're going to listen to this word, right? Go ahead. Whether they are of God. Uh, sister, are you of God? Okay. All right, we're going to see. Go ahead. Because many false prophets uh -huh. are gone out into the world. See, many false prophets have gone out into the world, sister. That's why the true servants are sealed in the last days. And we got to come and see how many people want to be sealed by the Lord in the last days, right? Sister, do you know that wearing pants is an abomination? Hold on, real quick. Let me get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Can I show you a law? All right, watch this, sister. Come on, it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. All right, let me see if you let me see if your spirit is resonating with this law. Go ahead. The woman. The who? The woman. So I'm talking to you. You're a woman, right? I'll pray to the most high. Go ahead. Shall not wear Shall that. Shall not what? Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Sister, what do you have on that pertain to men? Yes. That belong to men. Nothing you have on that. So, so um, I know now, right? They got the gender confusion going on, right? So the bathrooms look different, right? So back in the days, in in the eighties, right? When you went into the bathroom, did you go into the bathroom with the pants or the dress? With the dress. So what do you have on right now? Pants. You have on men's clothing, sister. You see that? All right, go ahead. Watch this. The woman, Deuteronomy 22 and 5, uh -huh. the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So he said you shall not wear that which belong to a man. Pants, 
pants belong to men, sister, right? The pants was given to the Levitical priest, right? You understand? Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Oh, she ain't listen. She said, girl, look at that. We see the devil. Girl, walk off, girl. She not even over here. She don't have nothing to do with the Bible. But look, if I had on a dress, sister, how would you view me? You see that? If I had on a dress right now, how would you view me, sister? As a woman, thank you. So that's an abomination. I'm viewing you as a man. That's an abomination, sister. You see how you just said that? That's not that's not to offend you, that's to cleanse you up. But I can't wear pants I'm already dressed Yeah, because you understand, let me get second to me you now, right? It's a reason why that is, sister, because if you have on pants, every man, are you married? Do you have a, a, a man that's in your life? Well, so every man out here gets to enjoy your assets. You see that? With a, huh? Yes, sister, I can see your shape. You see that? If I can see your shape, if you was my woman, right, everybody else can see your shape, right? So that's causing men to lust. You see that, sister? So the Lord want to cleanse up the earth. And cleansing up the earth is cleansing up the woman, so he cleans up the men, so we're not in sin. But you can't see, you can't see my shape uh, Sister, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Some women probably need to walk outside with a cardboard box on. <laughs> you understand? I'm just being real. Some of our women can't cover up. It is a good conversation, but can I give you this scripture real quick? Let me get that. Go ahead. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So all the Lord wants you to do is cover up, sister. Put on modest apparel. Modesty, is nothing wrong with that, right? Right? When you look out here, you see our women are dressed in all, in, in all manner of order. You see that? I see more butt cheeks out here than anything. And it's, and, and it's a shame. Right? And the scriptures say that a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. All right, sister. Look at the information, man. Right? And that's all we come out here for. But you see the loudmouth demon said I was a false prophet. Let me get that first John 4 1 again. You said we speaking the truth, brother? I got good ears, man. Hey, come here to word. I'm not, brother. I got good ears over here, brother. Come here to word if it's the truth. See that? Go ahead. The book of 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1. Oh, no. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So we're not supposed to believe every spirit, man, right? And we don't believe every spirit. We don't want y'all to believe us up here unless you see the work that we're doing. You see that? Y'all supposed to try us like we trying y'all, but y'all scared to do it. Y'all are not servants of the Lord, right? Nope. See that? Go ahead. But try the spirit. Uh -huh. We're the daughter of God. See, that sister had an opportunity to try the spirit to see why the father's of God, but she showed the spirit that she was in, right? She showed the falsehood that she was under, right? Go ahead. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And I can tell you, ain't no false prophets up here because we speak thus saith the Lord, right? We come out here to try to cleanse up the planet in the last days, man. Right. Right? We're not coming out here to fill our own bellies, God. right? We're not coming out here to heap souls unto ourselves, right? We coming out here to see heap souls to your hollow where y'all was shining the last days, man. Right? Right? Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh. Hey sisters, do y'all know what the what the Lord look like? How many of y'all people out here know what your Lord look like? How many of y'all people know what, what flesh your your maker came in, huh? How many of y'all people know? Hey sisters. Hey sisters, y'all believe in the Bible? Go ahead. And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh. Let me see if I can get these sisters to confess. How y'all doing, sisters? Hey, so we want to know if y'all can confess the true spirit that the Lord walked in in the last days. Can I get y'all to stop right here? Who is that right there? No, no, right here, sister. I was taught the black man is God. Oh, so come here real, real quick. Sister, can you come in? Ah, all right, all right. She was told the black man is God, right? All praise to the Most High. Man. The black man is only God when he's following the commandments of God. Right, right. Okay? Understand that, right? Go ahead. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh uh -huh. is not of God. Hey, sisters, can y'all confess that Christ came in the flesh? Hey, sister, can you confess? Huh? Can I ask you a question, sister? Yeah. 
Come here real quick then, sister. No, no, no. Nah, people ain't got time. Hey, come here, y'all. Right? See, we just want truth for the people, man. That's it. Go ahead. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. See, the people that don't want to confess, right, the Hamashiach that came in the flesh, right, the melanated brother, right, y'all are Antichrist. All y'all out here are Antichrist because you hate your own people, man. Right? Y'all hate your own people, man. And it's sad. You can't even give your brother five minutes to give you the truth. Right? Go ahead. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, even now, already is it in the world. Let me get St. John's 4, 23, right? It's already in the world, right? right? Understand that. The spirit of Antichrist has already been in this planet, man, right? And we come out here to expose it in the last days, right? But we want to see how many of y'all people truly understand the spirit of Christ. How many of y'all truly understand that the father and son are two different people? Mm. Huh? Do you understand that, sister? So can you come in real quick, sister? You see that? I just want to give you the love, sister. That's all. I just want to give you the love of the Lord, sister, in the last days, right? See that? Our people can agree, but they don't want to come for the fruit. Go ahead. Come on, the book of John chapter 4, verse 24. Verse 23. 23. Huh? But the hour cometh, and now is, uh -huh. when the true worshipers, when the who? When the true worshipers. Now you looking at the true worshipers up here. How many of y'all going to see it, right? How many of y'all going to see that we study this word week in and week out to come and deliver souls in the last days, right? How many of y'all going to see the fruitful works of your house camp in the last days, right? Go ahead. Shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth see we come to worship the father in spirit and in truth right Appreciate it. go ahead the book of first john chapter 3 and verse 18 go ahead my little children what do you say my little children hey, my little children we speaking to the little children how you doing sister hey do you believe in the beautiful words of the lord can i give you this scripture right here come here real quick sister two minutes i, I, I want to show you something can you, you can't look at the, right, read the scripture. Let us not love in word. Hey, we don't want our people to love in word, right? But let's see how we supposed to love. Hey, sisters, do y'all understand the Bible? Can we show you how to love in the last days? Huh? Y'all don't want to know. Go ahead. Neither in tongue, but in deed. But in what? But in deed. We supposed to show the works, man, right? We supposed to show the works of love, right? By keeping the commandments. Hey, come over here in the world, sister. Turn that golf cart around, right? Waving and smiling, you feel me? Go ahead. <laughs> but indeed, and in truth. Indeed, and in truth, man. And that's what we come out here for. We come out here for the works of the Lord, man. Right? Not our own works, right? Or we be up here singing and dancing for y'all and trying to give a show to collect dollars up here, man. But we coming out here to seal servants in the last days, right? Go ahead, brother. Come. I'm going to start at the top. What? This is John 4 and 23. Huh? But the hour coming, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit. Hey, sister, do you understand you're in front of the true worshipers right now? Do you got time to listen, sister? Huh? Go ahead. And in truth. And in truth. We just come out here to speak truth in the last days, man. But our people are void of it, man. Right? Our people just like folly and madness, right? Our people just like a good goddamn time in America, man, until these missiles hit this place, man. Yep. Right? Go ahead. For the Father seeking such to worship Him. Hey, the Father is seeking those to worship Him in the last days in spirit and truth. How many of y'all truly want this wisdom in the last days? How many of y'all truly want to seek this wisdom in the last days, man, for yourself? Go ahead. Verse 24. God is the Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth and that's all we want our people to do in the last days is worship the father in spirit and in truth what you got preset go ahead and the book of st john's uh 18 19. Come. the book of second timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Go ahead. this know also and this know also my people out here god's chosen people the children of israel go ahead that in the last days hey we in the last days if y'all ain't know out here in greensboro man God, but in the last days, perilous times shall come. Hey, man, y'all got some dangerous times coming to y'all, man. Right? It's going to be a lot of heartaches out here soon to come to this place, man. Right? You're not going to be able to go to work real soon, man. 
right? You're not gonna be able to just sit in your house and watch the game real soon, man. Them days coming to an end. Go ahead. For men and women shall be lovers of their own selves. That's what the priest was going into, man. Many of our brothers, even in this truth, man, want to sit up here and take selfies all day. Want to sit there and look at themselves all day. Licking their lips all on Facebook, man. Taking pictures. You understand? Look at me, right? It's a lot of that going on. The fame is unbearable, man, right? When are y'all just going to do the work, man? I don't care nothing about your jewelry. I don't care nothing about what you look like, man. Just do the work, right? Go ahead. Men shall be lovers of them own selves. Hey, how y'all doing, sisters? Hey, we come out here with the true spirit of the Lord, right? Go ahead. Covetous, boasters, proud. And we look at our people, boasters, proud, right? And not knowing a damn thing in the last days. Go ahead. Blasphemers. Do what? Blasphemers. Blasphemers. All blasphemers out here, right? Claiming that they know the truth. Claiming that they know the Bible, right? You ain't read a scripture all week and you want to come out here and tell us to read John. You don't know nothing in John, right? Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? You do? You got time for a scripture? Not right now. Not right now. You don't believe in the Bible. He said, got him. <laughs> he said, got him. <laughs> so, brother, let me ask you do you believe in the Bible? Can I get you a scripture? I got you too. I you, knew. <laughs> you see how easy that is? Boom. Hey, you see how easy that is? Our people too prideful, man. We gotta chill out out here, man, and get wisdom and not be so prideful, man. Right? He talking about got him. Got him. Nah, man, got you too. I thought you knew. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents, man. And a lot of y'all, man, y'all are disobedient to the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son, right? You understand? You had. You had one job, and that's to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments, right? Not be to work at 8 o'clock in the damn morning. You see that? Our people love to be to work all the time. You understand? Y'all are rushing to not be tardy. But how many people are how many people are showing up for the feast days, mm. for the assemblies, right? For the gatherings of the Most High? How many of y'all even know what they are? Y'all don't know about the ordinances, man, right? Y'all only know how to show up to the homecomings, right? Y'all only know how to show up to Thanksgiving dinner. Y'all only know how to show up to Christmas. Let me get Jeremiah 10, right? Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Yep. Brother, can you come in? Can y'all come in here the word of the Lord? Say, you don't believe in the truth, brother. No, you don't, brother. I got good ears. I keep trying to tell y'all, right? I hear everything y'all saying, man. And that's the Lord putting the spirit on me to hear. Preset. Go ahead. Sirach 5 and 7, mm -hmm. make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And the Lord said, make no tarrying, meaning don't take your damn time to turn to the Lord in the last days, man. Go ahead. And put not off from day to day. Man, our people going to put off from day to day. They're going to say, yeah, I saw them brothers out there. Yeah, they was teaching the truth. Yeah, it sounded real good, man. He said, yeah, I got them. He got them. But you know what? They ain't going to do what we're doing up here. They not going to really be sealed in the last days, man. Go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Hey, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the wrath of the Lord? Do y'all understand the wrath of the Lord is coming? Huh? Go ahead. And in thy security, and in thy security, right? And your comfort, right? At the homecoming, you understand? At the football game, right? In your security, in your ignorance, right? Go ahead. Thou shalt be destroyed. Hey, you're gonna be destroyed, man. And our people are already destroyed, man, right? Y'all are finished out here, and you think you got it going on in the last days, man, right? Look at the hair our women got in their heads, man, right? They think this look good. Red, green, blue, purple. All these damn colors of hair out here. Pink. Pink, right? Foolishness, man. Right? I see people, our women got hair touching the floor out here. Right? It don't belong to you. But that make you prideful, man. That make you feel good about yourself, right? Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Go ahead. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you. And we want our people to hear the words of Yahweh in the last days, man. That he's speaking against you, O house of Israel. Go ahead. O house of Israel. Hey, brothers, do y'all know y'all the house of Israel? You don't know that? Can I show you? I hey, well, come here and hear the word then, brother. And hey, if you know now, you have a duty to the Lord, man. Go ahead. 
Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith me. Thus, thus saith the Lord. Lord. You come out and speak. Thus saith the Lord in the last days. What do he say? Learn not the way of the heathen. And his homecoming is the way of the heathen, man. Go ahead. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. But you're going to find out our people are dismayed at the signs of heaven, right? Let me get Matthew uh, 6 and 13. I mean 16 and 3. Salah. Right? Let me see if that's what I want real quick, right? Matthew 16 and 3. I might have it mixed up. Right? Let's see. Con, the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 3. It says, and in the morning. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the word? Hey, can I get you the scripture real quick? Come here real quick, sister. Come here, come here. Real quick, real quick. Oh, praise to the most high, man. Give these beautiful sisters a hand, right? Real quick, hey, sisters, I want to know for the world right now, what does y'all's Lord look like? Y'all believe in the Bible? Okay, so you know Jesus Christ? What does Jesus Christ look like? What is his identity? If you was to pull up an ID right now, what would your Lord look like? Is this him? This, this guy right here. Who, so what's your Lord look like? Because that's what they gave us, right? They gave us that, right? So do you identify with that? You never seen him? Can we show y'all? Because we seen him. Right? So can we show y'all what we seen? Let me get revelations, right? Because we want to show y'all what we seen in the last days, right? Because everybody ain't seen what we see. You see that? So we got to come out here and show y'all what we see as the servants of the Lord. Go ahead. Revelations 1 and 1. I got Daniel 10. Oh, that's what I had. Y'all okay, okay, yeah, brothers on it. Go ahead. Con, Daniel 10 and 6. Go ahead. His body was like the bell, uh -huh. and his face as the appearance of lightning. Understand this, sister. His his body was like the bell, meaning he had like a green garment, okay? Go ahead. And his eyes as lamps of fire. And his eyes as lamps of fire, going to Genesis 49 and 10, meaning his eyes was red with wine. Go ahead. And his arms uh -huh. and his feet. So his arms and his feet, right? Like in color to polished brass. So we're speaking about color up here, right? What is polished brass, sister? Do you know? Wow, look at that, sister. Give her a hand. Oh, praise it. Oh, praise it. People... Hey, hold on, sister. Wait, 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 wait. I got one more for you, if that's okay. All right, let me get that in Revelations. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So we're speaking about Jesus Christ right now, sister. Understand that. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. So we're the servants of the Lord, right? And we've seen the Lord. You understand that? So let me get verse 3. This is how we've seen the Lord. Go ahead. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. See, we're blessed, sister, because we read the word of the Lord. That's how we've seen the Lord. Go ahead. And they that hear the words uh -huh. of this prophecy. So this is prophecy we're breaking down. So you're going to be blessed, sister, right? Y'all's ears and your mind is going to be blessed by receiving this wisdom. Go ahead. Verse 13, uh -huh. and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. So we're giving you the same revelation that's almost identical to Daniel's prophecy. Go ahead. Uh, slot here. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, uh -huh. and girt about the paps Go ahead. with a golden girdle. Mm -hmm. His head and his hairs. Well, white like wool. So our Messiah had woolly hair, sister. Only Negroes have woolly textured hair, sister. Go ahead. As white as snow. As white as snow, sister. Understand that. Like you look at this elder right here. Understand that. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Go ahead. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his feet, sister. Go ahead. Like unto fine brass. That fine brass you said was brown. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. So your Lord, your Messiah was very dark, sister. He looked like you. And you got to come back and repent in the last days, right? Because he's calling you in the last days, sister, right? So come back, pick your Bible up, and read, and seek the Lord in the last days, sister. That's all we asking up here, right? She Let me get Matthew 24. All right, I'm going to close up for the brother. All praise to the most high, right? All praise. Matthew 24, 14. Let me get my closing verse. All praise to the Most High. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. Bring it out. And this gospel. And this, and and this, this gospel. gospel. And we came out here for the gospel in Greensboro, North Carolina, but not too many people wanted to hear it. Go ahead. And this gospel. And this gospel. Go ahead. Of the kingdom. Of the what? Of, of the, the kingdom. kingdom. Come out for the gospel of the kingdom in the last days. Go ahead. Shall be preached. Shall be preached. Go ahead. In all the world. In all the world in the last days, man.
man, all throughout the four corners of this planet, go ahead. For a witness. For a what? For a witness. Hey, the 12 tribes of Israel are the witnesses in the last days pursuing the Revelations 11 and 8. Go ahead. For a witness unto all, right. all nations. For a witness unto all nations, man. And then we're going to do what? And then shall the end come. And that's the end of my time. I'm your brother, Yashu. And I want to say, Tawada Yahweh, Tawada Yahweh Shai, Baraka Tha Yahweh, Baraka Tha Yahweh Shai, Kaha Allah Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shai Baraka Tha. Hum Yashai, Hum Yashai, Hum Yashai, Hum Yashai, Hum Yashai, Hum Yashai.